Most turf managers have never seen frit fly maggots on their cool season turf. But that doesn't mean they aren't there, it just means they're extremely hard to find. In this video, we'll show you what frit flies look like and what kind of damage they cause. Though they cause problems only occasionally, it's good to be able to recognize this pesky little guy so that you can manage it properly if it does show up. Let's start by looking at the adult frit fly. These are very small flies, about only a sixteenth of an inch long, and you'll sometimes see them hovering over the turf surface. The adult flies don't cause damage to turf themselves, but they can be very annoying to golfers. They're attracted to anything that's white, from golf balls to white golf shirts. Though the adults aren't directly responsible for turf damage, they lay eggs in the protected area between the leaf sheath and the stem. The larvae, or maggots, that hatch from these eggs are the stage of the insect that causes trouble. If you start peeling back leaf sheaths from the stem, it's hard to see frit fly maggots, even if you're looking directly at them. They just blend in so well with yellowing or dying turf. What you're looking at here is the rear end of the maggot. Its head is actually buried in the crown of the plant, where it kills the growing point of new stems by shredding the plant tissue to pieces with its strange hook-like mouth parts. Attacking the plant at its growing tip causes the entire shoot to die. Surrounding shoots and leaves may remain green, however. Here's the maggot climbing head first up a shoot that's been damaged by frit fly feeding. The maggot's also quite small, about an eighth of an inch long. Note that it has almost no distinguishing characteristics, not a well-defined head, and no legs whatsoever. You can distinguish the head end from the rear end mainly because the head comes to a point and has a pair of very small black hooks, which are the mouth parts, that the maggot uses to grind or rasp plant tissue. If frit flies are causing damage on your turf, it's usually a sign there is an underlying problem, and frequently that problem is high organic matter. On greens, we target organic matter levels of less than 2%, and on fairways, less than 6%. This information appears in our soil guidelines, which you can find a link to in the list of companion publications provided in this update. Also listed in the companion publications, is a PACE publication that contains useful information on managing organic matter. Insecticides are rarely necessary with frit flies, but every once in a while high populations of frit fly maggots can trigger treatment. In this photo, the superintendent treated the area on the left with a combination of Talstar, which is bifenthrin, and Merit, which is imidacloprid, with good results. The Talstar knocked down the adult frit flies, and the Merit targeted the maggots systemically. 